Hello there fellow YouTubers, uh, Nuno here once again, uh, today is Sunday the 27 I believe, uh, December, uh, sorry, November and uh, following the, um, the first video that I made on an uh, unboxing of uh, a brand new uh, MacBook Pro late 2011 15 inch uh, Core i7 2.4 uh, I put in the in the description that I will put this uh, machine to the tests um, and that's what this video, uh, this first video is all about. So what we are going to do is uh, compare this system, we are going to benchmark uh, this system to um, my late 209, uh, my, late, no, my mid 209 uh, MacBook Pro 15 inch Core 2 Duo at running at 2.8 gigahertz, uh, fresh install uh, also, and we are comparing uh, to 11.6 uh, uh, inch MacBook Air from my wife. So these three units to see uh, how things are going. We are starting with the Geekbench uh, running at 6. Uh, uh, 64 um, bits and um, and uh, probably in this video we are also making uh, export test okay so let's go ahead okay very well um, this one is my uh, previous uh, MacBook Pro the mid 2009 running at 2.8 gigahertz core to duo this is the MacBook Air, okay? It's the uh, base model, despite the only thing, the situation that it has is a, a 128 gigabytes of solid state drive, okay? So two gigs of RAM and 1.4 uh, core to dual uh, processor. And on this cinema display, um, <coughs> it is connected my new unit, uh, the late 211, <coughs> sorry, my late uh, uh, 2011 uh, MacBook Pro Core i7 2.4 gigahertz um, that is on the on the stand and is connected to the to the cinema display. So let's go ahead with this Geekbench. Geek All of them are running at 64 bits. So I'm starting with the lower spec one that will take uh, more time. That is the MacBook Air. Let's run the benchmark. Now let's go to the 209 model, Core 2 Duo 2.8 and let's go now to the uh, 2011, late 2011 MacBook Pro 15 inch. So they are running, they are running now. Probably in the editing I will uh, put uh, running faster for you not to wait so we have 24 seconds now in the late 2011 to finish we have 36 on the uh, 15 inch 2009 core to duo to finish and we have about 50 minutes on the macbook air so uh, my late 2011 the fans are now kicking okay it's done we have a result of 11,340 uh, I haven't upgraded yet to 8 gigs of RAM that will be the next step so it's running 4 gigs of RAM now we have here the MacBook Pro Core to Duo 2.8 uh, gigahertz uh, with 3,878, and we'll start. We are still waiting for the MacBook Air to finish. Uh, I will do again a test on this one because I don't have the. Um, uh, I think we made the 32 on this one. So let's go ahead with the 64. Okay, it's running again, MacBook Pro uh, Core to Duo 2.8 uh, because I, I thought that the, um, <coughs> the score was a little bit lower. 
and the MacBook Air already finished. Also, it's uh, it has a score of two thousand two hundred and seventeen. Okay, so just wait for the mid two hundred nine model to finish. But we are already seeing uh, a huge, huge difference between these three machines. Okay. Um, and that what I was expecting, of course. Let's wait a little bit. Now I'm seeing the difference between this 209 and the 211, uh, you know, in, in speed. Okay, so let's see if we can zoom it. Let's go ahead and cancel this screensaver okay okay and let's make here a zoom on this one let's make here a zoom I'm sorry I'm going to grab the camera sorry for the shakiness so we have here on the late 2011 Core i7 11 uh, 1100 300 11340 on the mid 2009 400 4, and on this small baby we have 2217 okay so let's go to the next phase okay after the um, the first test of geekbench uh, at 64 bits in these three Macs we are now now performing in iMovie because uh, I, don't, I only have Final Cut installed in my primary uh, MacBook not on the on this on this previous 15 inch and in the MacBook Air so we are performing um, the iMovie uh, export using QuickTime at 720p okay it's a, a one minute length video so let's go ahead and see how much time it takes uh, for these three uh, max to, to f um, end this, uh, this task so let's go ahead let's start with the small spec MacBook Air okay 720p one minute video first okay okay it's starting now let's go ahead with the Corto Duo MacBook Pro 2.8 mid-2009 okay okay and now let's go to the late 2011 Core i7. Okay. Okay. Save. Very well. At this point in time, we have two minutes on the late on the Core i7, four minutes on the um, Core to Duo 2.8, 15 inch and we have nine minutes on the small macbook air so let's go ahead and make here a little zoom for you to to see starting at uh, this one so i'm sorry about shaking the camera it's on the tripod here you have now it has increased still in two minutes okay we have going down the macbook 15 inch 209 model at four minutes and here you have the macbook air at Eight
eight minutes okay let's pause a little bit the video and I'll be back when it's already finished okay at this point the late 211 it's already done okay but we are still waiting as you can see I don't know if you can five minutes on the 15 inch core to duo 2.8 gigahertz and eight minutes still on a MacBook Air so this is a huge huge difference I will keep recording now okay I will pause the video because it's taking too long <laughs> and it will be a huge video so I will stop and I will return again when they are uh, stopping still waiting okay we have on the we have still two minutes on the 15 inch and eight minutes on the macbook pro and you can check on the on the screen saver on the cinema display the time okay okay the macbook pro is finished And I think we'll not wait for the <laughs> for the air. You know, um, <coughs> this com this computer is for the everyday task, as you know. But it can manage video editing. It takes a long uh, takes more time, of course, than the than the pros. But it can the, it can it can do the 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 task. But guys, for this. Um, example I think uh, I think that's that's enough for you to see okay so I'll put the camera in a different angle and we'll speak a little bit more so um, today we made two tests um, the Geekbench uh, at 64 bits all the systems are running Mac OS 10 Lion 10.7.2 uh, so the latest release uh, the Geekbench test that we made is also 64 bit for all the systems. Uh, you have seen the result. Uh, it is a huge gap between uh, all these uh, computers. And for the um, export uh, in iMovie, so uh, uh <coughs> I'm sorry about the uh, because I'm from Portugal and we, we have always to think in English and uh, sometimes it skips me. But the MacBook Air is still uh, here in 10 minutes, so it's increasing. So uh, it is uh, it is huge the difference between the, these these uh, three systems. Okay, I'm I'm very happy with this uh, with this uh, late 2011 MacBook uh, Pro. It is huge. I have further videos to come. Uh, uh, now uh, I'm going to um, in the next videos I'm going to perform with some uh, games that are on the top some Battlefield some Modern Warfare 3 and uh, some Flight Simulator because that's my kind of game Flight Simulator for you to check the performance of this uh, GPU the graphics uh, processor uh, the graphic uh, that that we have here the ATI the AMD ATI Radeon uh, I already saw it and uh, you'll be amazed by the performance of these of these graphics guys the video is too long uh, <coughs> uh, I hope you like it uh, I hope it's a point of decision for you and uh, all the best as always uh, and keep safe and I will see you in another video for the time being bye bye